Universal has announced some huge new updates on Epic Universe, with new details on one of the five lands coming to the park with How Train Dragon, Isle of Bark. This new land for families will feature a multitude of attractions, a brand new show, a new main greet area, and so much more. So here's everything coming to Universal's new land, How Train Dragon, Isle of Bark. With How Train Dragon Isle of Burke, journey to a rocky isle and discover a village populated by rugged vikings and rambunctious dragons. From an exciting coaster to a heartwarming live show, it's fire-breathing fun for all ages. This new world is set to encompass 15.5 acres with a total of 162 500 square feet of rock work, making it a viking village for dragon-sized adventures. According to Universal, guests' first sight of Burke will be reminiscent of the iconic sweeping vista straight from the films, featuring a vast sparkling lagoon that boasts two 40-foot-tall Viking statues set against an energetic village perched above churning seas. Here, Vikings and dragons live together on Burke, so you can expect to see endless activity from active dragons in their natural habitats and sheep attempting to disguise themselves as terrible terror dragons to sporadic bouts of fire. With this new land, it is set to feature three attractions, shops, a toothless and hiccup mean greet area, a new kids play area, a new restaurant, and a brand new show. With this new land, there's going to be a total of four attractions, with one of them being Hiccup's Wing Gliders. According to Universal, Hiccup's Wing Gliders will be a family coaster. It goes up to 45 miles per hour and will have a height requirement of 40 inches. From Hiccup's workshop comes his latest contraption, a winged flying machine that launches aspiring dragon riders into the air, swooping and soaring and encountering Hiccup and Toothless along the way. Get ready to board Hiccup's Wing Gliders, a fun family coaster that invites Vikings to prove they're brave enough to speed through the skies with dragons. Up next we have Dragon Racers Rally, a thrill ride that takes Vikings up 67 feet in the air with a height requirement of 48 inches. According to Universal at Dragon Racers Rally, Burke's new Vikings can participate aerobatic maneuvers and high speed barrels on a Viking made dragon riding trainer. You'll need these high flying, gravity defying, swooping and soaring skills if you hope to become a champion dragon racer. With this ride, guests will also be able to control how mild or wild they want the ride to be. Another ride in Eilberg is going to be none other than Fire Drill. Viking twins Roughnut and Toughnut have transformed Burke's Fire School into a watery interactive boat battle at sea. Board your ship in Fire Drill and blast your water cannons at flame like targets and in the occupants of every other boat to outsoak other Vikings. And for this family ride, there's no high requirement. Last but not least, while it's not a ride, there's going to be a new children's play area called Viking Training Camp. At Viking Training Camp, Junior Vikings will discover all types of dragons in the sprawling, colorful, interactive play area. Adventures include multiple towers to climb and explore, a fun agility course, Viking drums and chimes to play, an interactive sheep launcher game, plus slides and activities for the youngest Vikings. With the entire land as a whole, Isle of Burke contains around 119 buckets, 175 barrels, 168 crates, 151 feed sacks, 115 books, and 120 baskets. Some of these can be spotted in the Viking training camp. With Isle of Burke, there's going to be a new show set to debut in Epic Universe called The Untrainable Dragon. When a new dragon shows up in the Isle of Burke, Vikings think they may have finally met their match. However, Hiccup and Toothless, with help from Gobber and Astrid, work together to solve the mystery of the untrainable dragon. Experience the wonder of dragons on stage and soaring overhead in this spectacular, music-filled, heartwarming live show. This new show inspired by Untrainable in Universal Beijing Resort. However, there will be some differences in Orlando's version, but it is sure to be a must-watch when the park does open. In terms of characters for this land, you can meet Hiccup and Toothless at the Haddock Paddock for an incredible meet and greet experience. Plus, throughout the day, guests may encounter other familiar Vikings and dragons while exploring Burke, and also catch a glimpse of dragons up in the sky.
there's going to be a brand new quick service dining location with Mead Hall. This is a place where you can eat and drink like a Viking. According to Universal, this massive Mead Hall is Burke's main gathering place. A grand chamber hewn from mountain rock where Vikings feast on a hearty menu including meat, fish, sandwiches, and desserts. Beverages include assorted meads, ciders, and ales. Besides Mead Hall, there's also going to be Spitfire Grill, where it overlooks the action of the Fire Drill water attraction, as Spitfire Grill is a quick service dining location featuring delicious hearty meals, flame seared by a helpful unseen dragon fry cook. There's also Hooligan's Grog and Gruel, where guests can grab quick bites at this festive racing themed food stand located in the Viking camp. And after a day of dragon training, guests can also commemorate their lessons, where there's an array of merchandise available at the shops like Viking Traders, How to Treat Your Dragon, Hiccups Workshop, and Toothless's Treasure. And with that being said, that is going to be it with Epic Universe's upcoming land, How to Train Dragon, Oliver. Of course, the new theme park will have four other lands, such as Celestial Park, Super Nintendo World, Dark Universe, and Wizarding World Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. The new park is set to open in summer 2025, but with that being said, that is going to be it. Let me know in the comments below, what is your thoughts on new How to Train a Dragon Land? If you want to help support the channel, make sure you subscribe and like the video. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day!